Colin McGarry, many congratulations. That result has been a long time coming in seniors televised darts. Just sum up how are you feeling for us? I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic for my wife and my, my, all my kids, my four girls and my two boys, and everybody that supported me because I've had a rough end of the draw as last while and to play Leonard Gates, I went, oh, not another one. But listen, I even wasn't at my best tonight, but I won, so I'm happy with that. Those defeats that you've spoken about, obviously I know they hurt, but did you take inspiration from them, the fact that you've pushed great players and facing another one, there was, there was no fear in that challenge? Not really, because I know I could have beat them, <laughs> you know, and you know, you know, it's all, it's all about winning. As my late father, who died in August, said, Colin, it's all about the W, it's about winning, you know, and he was, he was an attribute to me and what I've done on darts, you know, but, uh, you know, my daughters, they're all pushing me and everybody, like, you know, it's, it's hard, it's hard to go up there when you know you're in a tough draw to start. But Leonard maybe didn't play his best, but that doesn't matter. I won, so. So give you the inspiration now to, to kick on and, and go and do massive things in this tournament. Tomorrow's another day. As I said a few years ago, and um, the match play, I've, I, I've been very, very fortunate. I've uh, joined the seniors tour in November when it started. I've done absolutely fantastic. I have. I missed the last three or four tournaments due to work commitments. But... I'm still up there in the rankings, I'm still up there in the money list, you know, and I have a great team behind me, I have a great team behind me, so, listen, tomorrow, tomorrow night, I think I'm on at 10 tomorrow night, I I'm not sure, before. I'm not sure, listen, it doesn't matter, I got through the first hurdle, the next hurdle's tomorrow night. You said you've obviously missed a few tournaments, does this give you the hunger now to, to go and have another go at it this year? Yeah, well... I have a great job and I have great employee, employers, you know, it, it is, it is, they've been very good to me, you know, but it, it, it's hard to get over here all the time, you know, because I play local darts and I play this, but obviously, depending on how far I go, I, I would say I probably will keep on going now, I'll be in March and, you know, the, the seniors have turned into a sort of a bigger schedule than it was when I started, a very big schedule. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll, you know, everybody in the seniors format is fantastic players. You know, on the on the floor, on the stage, ever and a, a great announcement there tonight. On the announcement, does that give you guys so much hope now that the tour will flourish into what you've always wanted it to be? Yes, I would say the tour. You know, I've I've been probably outspoken about the tour, but the tour as. Fantastic players. Yes, we des we deserve this here. What's ha what what's turned out tonight? Because we are fantastic players and fantastic people. You know, everybody earned their place. That's what we like to see. Colin, thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. Colin, just oh, stay there. Oh, guys, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, speak up, please. Just tell me what it's like walking out into that sort of atmosphere. Obviously, there's some. some My first time there was 2003. Believe it or not, like I was only six. <laughs> no, 2003 is my first time there. I played three matches on that iconic stage. Rory Orvis, uh, uh, who the hell was it? And then ended up playing Phil Taylor. Mm -hmm. Ended up playing Phil Taylor. That was, Phil Taylor is pump. Yeah, nobody, nobody was at it, like, you know, and, you know, it's fantastic to be there. This is my third time there now. And hopefully, hopefully if I'm living and spared, it'll be a fourth time. Do you believe you're playing the sort of darts that could that could win a competition like this? Tonight, no. If I throw like that, I'll not win it. But I'm very capable. I'm very capable to beat anybody there. I know that. But they're very capable of beating me too. It just depends. As certain people say, what Colin McGarry turns up, you know. So hopefully I turn up. Colin, what was your reaction when the draw first came out and you saw it was Leonard Gates? He obviously dominated last year and won three. TV Do you want me to tell you the truth? <laughs> Ooh, it was sort of like that there, but listen, I knew I pushed him. I knew I pushed him. I don't know what the score was, 9 6, 9 5, or 9 7, whatever it was. I knew I pushed him. And I didn't feel as good in the night as I did then, you know, but it's, uh, you know, I'm happy. It's all about winning. It's all about winning. I'm here tomorrow night, no matter what, so 
unfortunately for Leonard, he has to go home. After narrowly losing out to Phil Taylor, how keen were you to get back here and put that right and go on a bit of a run? I think the pressure, you know, we were going, that was Phil too, you know. I was thinking, I was thinking, well, we have to do this, have to do this. You know, obviously Phil, Phil, I looked at Phil and Eric Bristol was my two iconic people that I wanted to follow, wanted to emulate. Never, never will emulate any of them, but they were my inspiration to play darts. My father, my father was a fantastic dart player himself, and, and so was my mother, you know, but... It's just trying, you want to try and do your best. I know if I do my best, I can beat anybody here. But if I don't do my best, obviously, the second scenario comes into case. You've got another former world champion in the next rounds, Richie Burnett. How much are you looking forward to, to taking on Richie? I've known Richie, I've known Richie as a long, long time. So I um, have to make sure I stand a wee bit further back. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, Richie, fantastic bloke. We, international darts we played for i played for northern Ireland, and 80 90 caps what i have and he was the same in wales when the old bdo days so we know each other quite well and we've had a couple of beers together mm -hmm.